Hello future PEs, this is Vasimas Gur. Welcome to studyforepi.com. This is your one-stop shop for everything related to epi electrical and computer exam preparation as well as the PE power exam preparation. So my name is Vasim Asghar. I'm a licensed professional engineer in the US and Canada. I have authored several books on the topic of epi electrical and computer exam preparation as well as the PE power exam preparation. I've also developed online exam preparation programs for FE Electrical and PE Power. I'll take a few minutes of your time to give you a quick rundown of the licensing process and explain you how my exam preparation resources can help you fast track your PE licensing journey. So it all starts with the FE exam. You can take the FE exam for most of the states in your final year of undergraduate studies. And to be quite honest, that's the best time to take the exam. But not a lot of students are proactively worrying about FE exam at that stage because they are bogged down with their final exams, capstone projects, midterms, quizzes, and so on. But some of the students do take the initiative and get it done even before they graduate. Now passing this exam becomes incrementally more and more difficult as the time goes by. And the reason is quite simple, because as the time passes by, you start forgetting stuff. And the interesting thing about the FE exam is that it tests you on your entire undergraduate coursework. So whatever you learned in four years will be tested on the exam within five hours and 20 minutes. That gives you roughly three minutes per question. So even if you know what you need to do, doing that within three minutes per question is typically difficult for most of the students. Now, coming back to the timeline, the best time to take the exam is when you are in your final years of studying or you have just recently graduated. The next best time to take this exam is whenever you are ready as soon as possible without any further delay. But the key to passing this exam is a solid theoretical understanding combined with a lot of practice for every section. Now, as I mentioned, I have authored books on the topic of FE Electrical. Some of the books you can see in the background. This is my study guide. It is the only five star rated book on Amazon on the topic of FE Electrical. So the books you can check out on Amazon, they are very well reviewed and a lot of students use the books to prepare for the exam. Now, in case you want to further streamline your exam preparation efforts, then I would recommend you to consider my FE Electrical and Computer exam preparation program. Now let's talk a little bit about the PE power exam, which is basically the final stepping stone before your PE license. A lot of states have decoupled the experience requirement from the PE exam registration. What that basically means is that they are now allowing candidates to take the PE exam right after passing the FE exam, which is actually a great news because if you have momentum built up, by preparing for the FE exam and roughly 20-30% of FE electrical does carry over to PE power, you can actually cash in on that momentum and continue with your schedule, with your routine and go all the way with the PE power exam preparation. Which is a good news for most of the electrical engineers because a lot of electrical engineers who are pursuing the PE license are actually power systems engineers. But this focus and depth actually comes with its own challenges because the concepts that are tested on the PE power exam, you can check out the NCS specification for PE power, basically cover all aspects of power systems engineering. The saving grace on the PE power exam is that time is not as big of an issue. You actually get six minutes per question. Compare this with the FE electrical and computer exam where you have 110 questions that are to be done in five hours and 20 minutes. When it comes to the PE power exam, we are dealing with 80 questions fewer number of questions in eight hours. So timing is not really an issue. Let's talk about the on-demand content first. Within the on-demand course, I have over 250 lectures, over 150 quizzes, 17 mini exams, computer simulated practice exam. The on-demand program is in complete synchronization with the exam layout. We start with mathematics, then we go on to probability and stats, then ethics, then engineering economics, properties of electrical materials, circuit analysis, and so on. In every section, you're gonna find multiple lectures, concepts that are a little bit more tricky, a little bit more involved, a little bit more abstract. I've divided them into multi-part lecture series. After every lecture, you're gonna see a quiz. The quiz gives you an opportunity to basically actively recall what you have just learned in the program. And at the end of every section, you have mini exams which are computer simulated. They have the timer. You can go back and forth between the questions. You can flag the questions. And the mini exams will test you holistically on that particular section. 
and they're also going to be a little bit more difficult and at the end you have a bonus computer simulated practice exam that you can use to test yourself i strongly recommend you to use the ncs sample exam as well because that is coming directly from the exam makers now if you want a little bit of additional guidance then consider my live training i conduct live training two to three times a year and the schedule is always up to date you can check it out on the course page in the live training what we basically do is that we build upon the on-demand content it is very well structured over the course of 12 weeks we basically go through all exam topics in detail with additional homework assignments you'll have real-time access to me you can ask me any question live raise your hand on zoom and type your questions in chat you can also benefit from questions that other students are asking and these sessions are conducted on a weekly basis and before you know it we'll basically work through all the exam topics and by combining the on-demand and the live training the homework assignments the mini exams the lectures the quizzes the computer simulated practice exams you'll feel extremely confident and ready to take this exam as soon as you complete all of these content by using these programs you have structure you can fast track your preparation and you can increase the efficiency of your preparation on a daily basis so that the number of hours that you're putting in on a weekly basis on a daily basis are helping you move the needle and i'm always available to help my students i do one-on-one -on -one live onboarding calls with my students and if you enroll in the bundle programs you also get access to the community which is very active students help each other out and i help them understand the concepts over there as well so all of a sudden this intimidating task of passing the fe electrical and computer exam and the p power exam you might have been procrastinating you might have been postponing these exams but when you go through the program you'll find that it will become less intimidating less challenging and hopefully quite a bit of fun i look forward to being part of your p licensing process and thanks again for visiting the website and watching this through thank you